Uh, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Now I'm in the limelight cause I ride tight. Time to get paid, blow up like the world train. Born to uh, you know so, so into the song, I forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. So it is Super Bowl Sunday. I really don't care. <laughs> but my mom's having a little Super Bowl party, so I'm on my way over there. I just finished filming a video, that's why I'm full hair and makeup, and of course I just have on sweatpants and a shirt, so yeah, but that's what I'm doing on Super Bowl Sunday, just going to my mama house. Back to big. <laughs> taken off off with the nails yeah because they are cracking like a mother like cracking like all over the place like just splitting in half and it hurts so bad and I'm just I'm kind of over them like this guy is literally about to snap off right now and it hurts <laughs> um <coughs> But my nail tech is gone, and I thought she was only gonna be gone last week, but she was gone all this week too. So, having somebody else do my nails today, and I'm a little nervous. I might just have them taken off and then just wait till she comes back to have them like put back on, but I don't know. So we are here, and wish wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic. Oh, oops. oh, come on, let me get this parking spot. Well, there's two right in front of Starbucks. But we're not getting Starbucks. We're not being a good girl today. No more long nails. I have little shorties. <laughs> they look so little. I can actually make a fist. I'm gonna go home and make them like a little slimmer. Cause I got like my nail drill and everything at the house. What is going on people? Humans. So I leave for Jersey on Sunday. We're gonna stay with Car and Brett. They like literally get back that same day from like a nine day cruise, but we're still gonna stay with them. <laughs> um, and then I come back Tuesday, and then the week after that is my birthday. Woo! Um, so we are going to Colorado Breckenridge. We're going to Breckenridge for my birthday. Like a bunch of us are going. We rented like a house up in like, I don't know, the mountains. Is that what it is? There. Um, sort of like right next to a ski resort and I've never been snowboarding but we've been talking about going snowboarding for years and years and years so we figured why not go for my birthday so I'm a little nervous I was talking about it in my video the other day and I said I got like butt pads and like a back pad and like all kinds of padding because I was looking at like snowboarding bruises and they looked like no yoke which is no joke and it made me like super nervous about it I mean I think I'm pretty athletic in general like I don't like to do athletic things but I am very coordinated I have great balance <laughs> so I feel like I'll be okay I'm just really nervous to be honest the thing that scares me the most is like that ski lift thing what is that like I don't even ride that at the fair that thing is scary it's sketchy to me so I don't know I'm, I'm super excited so my birthday is literally like two weeks away I'm gonna be 30 years old holy shit and everyone's like 30 is not that old I'm like whatever it's still like I'm not 20, I'm not in my 20s anymore. A bitch about to be in her 30s. Ugh. And then of course, every time people find out I'm 30, they're like, oh, okay, so when are you getting married and having kids? I'm like, um, not tomorrow or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know, I just really, I honestly feel like such a little kid all the time. I really feel like a baby. So I couldn't imagine like having a baby. I, th I just think moms are like, Superheroes, like I've said it before, so I just don't think I'm ready to be a superhero yet. You know, I'm just trying to be regular old me with my mom nails now. I got my dad hat and my mom nails. <laughs> a lot of you have been asking, like, why is there no vlogs up? 
I can't vlog and film videos because when I'm in like video film mode, like when I got all those videos up like the last two weeks and then I took like a week off, <laughs> um, that's all I'm doing. I'm literally getting up, getting ready, filming a video, editing a video, uploading a video, going to sleep, getting up, filming a video, editing a video. So there's no like, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm literally just in my house filming videos and eating like bagels. What the fuck? Bikers. So I'm excited to have a meetup and like see you guys because it's been like a hot minute everyone's like why don't you have a meetup at home and i'm just like where am i gonna have a meetup at home like they don't want that shit at the mall they'll kick us out <laughs> i don't know maybe i should like try to coordinate one or something it's just like honestly guys like i just feel like a regular ass person like i don't i'm just nicole i'm just me i'm just regular so when I have like meetups or like me organizing a meetup, it's like, uh, you know, like I just, I feel cheesy about it sometimes because I'm just regular old me. Even though people like to put out there that I'm like a bitch and I'm rude to people, which is like not, not true at all. I'm not rude to anybody. I can't be rude. The only way I can be rude to somebody is if they're rude to me first. That's the only way. And even then it's like a rare occasion. Like I, the other day, like the guy at the post office was like yelling at me. You only have five days to pick up, like, being an asshole, okay? Like, you only have five days to pick up your packages. We're not holding your packages. You need to come, like, every day to the post office. I'm like, I got things to do. I can't come to the post office every day. And what's the point of paying for a post, like, a P.O. box when you have to come every day? I'm like, sir, I'm not ordering these. I'm not ordering this stuff. It's not like I know that it's here. Like, I come once a week. And as rude as he was being to me, I just couldn't even be rude back. Charlotte was like... You handled that so well. She's like, I would have cussed him out. I'm like, I just, it's not worth it. Like, I feel like it's bad karma. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'll talk shit, but I'm not talking shit to anybody to like hurt their feelings or anything like that. Like, people on the internet, like, want to hurt my feelings. Like, I don't have beef with anybody on the internet. I don't have beef with anybody on YouTube. So, I mean, I've had plenty encounters with people who have been rude to me. People that y'all know. But I would never, ever, 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 ever get on the internet and make a video about it. And the thing that like really irks me is people want to hear stuff like that. They want to hear bad stuff about people. Like, why do you think like all these Instagram accounts, like The Shade Room and Tea Spillers and like all those Instagram accounts have so many followers? It's because people want to hear the shit talking. You're never going to go far in life if you're steady hating on other people. Like, you're just, it's just not. The, the universe is not going to answer your prayers or answer your fucking wishes. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Um, so it's like 4.30 now. I am going to my mom's house just to pick up some packages because I have a lot of packages that just go to my mom's because she's never gonna move again. So she's kind of like my home address for like people that like I talk to or like if I order stuff, I just always have it shipped there. Um, so I'm gonna go pick up some packages from her. What did I do today? We went to the mall earlier. My camera I left in the house. Such a great vlogger I am. Um, and I just wanted to get a like a backpack for like traveling and stuff because you know that I use that like huge Louis bag now, which look at the sun. Look at the sun! I don't really love to travel with that bag. I originally bought the bag for travel because it's so large and if you ever go to the airport, it seems like everybody has those bags. What is going on? Everybody is in a rush. Ooh. What was I saying? I was saying how horrible this light is. I mean, really? Like, this is how I feel when I don't have a spray tan. <laughs> So anyways, we went and got a backpack just because I want to have everything like on my back. Just figured it would be easier than carrying that heavy ass bag. And that bag is so big, you can fit so much stuff in it, but the straps are like shoestrings and it like cuts into your arm if you have to carry the bag. So, wanted to get a backpack. Yeah, sure, come on over, sir. Come on over. Life with these short nails is, I feel a little incomplete, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little, it's a little peculiar to have these short nails. Is that my car squeak? Oh, sir, are you trying to get over in this lane? Oh, this bus is uh, up on the curb. Oh, okay. Do what you gotta do, bus. He is full on driving in the middle of the median. Full on driving in the middle of the median right now. 
Wow. I'm in shock. So did you see that bus driver? Wow, he was not missing the turn signal. I got a turn too, but I'm not driving on the median. You do what you want when you're popping, I guess. He made the light too. <laughs> I'm so far back from the light. And he just got like in the middle of the median and just took it all the way up. And he turned. So you go, sir. You do what you want when you're popping. Clearly the sun does what it wants. what that is um i've only got 38 minutes left on this hd card <laughs> bums stop get another one <laughs> if you make youtube videos you can never have enough hd like hd cards sd cards uh so it is around 12 o'clock i'm gonna go grab pookie because she's gonna hang out with me today she's gonna run my errands with me we need to go to the bank, we need to go to Target, we need to go get these eyebrows threaded, I need to go get a spray tan because we leave for Jersey in the morning because my meetup uh, at the next store is tomorrow. No, it's not. <laughs> it's on Monday. Um, but of course, you know, we're flying out a day earlier. So I need to do all this shit beforehand. I'm not really sure what this bun is doing today. All these days, like right before I leave, like to get on the airplane, I just look like the biggest bum. Like if y'all can see my outfit right now. Woohoo! <laughs> I like to call it comfy. <laughs> so last night I uploaded a picture on Instagram and there were so many damn Daniel comments and I was like, what the hell is this? And then I figured out what damn Daniel is and I've been like laughing about it all morning and when I was just getting ready to leave I was on the second story and Beebs was on the first and I could hear him downstairs going damn Daniel back at it again with the white vans <laughs> oh I love the internet sometimes sometimes <laughs> on my late night thirsty because it was late night and I was thirsty so we are at the mall now. I'm gonna run in and get these eyebrows threaded and then I need to get Peeps some sweatpants. I have to get a toy. And maybe Pookie can get a toy. It is around 6, let me get my butt. So it's around 6.20, we're gonna go grab some Mexican food. I feel like, Peeps, did that just fly off? My car, there's like a thing loose on the outside, like on the window. But anyways, we're gonna go get some Mexican food. I was just saying, I feel like we're always, we always, we're always eating Mexican food in the vlog. The sun looks so pretty. And then home to pack. Oh, I should have started laundry before I'm in the So it's like 10 p.m. We're gonna watch some TV. We're done packing. And Thursday in the morning. Hey guys, so we are standing outside right now just waiting I think for security I don't have my lip on or anything right now, um, but my meetup is right inside. They have like a little Nyx thing out here Beep said there's a long line inside, but I don't want to peek around the door or anything I actually don't have a sweater on and the the cash guy was just hanging out watching me <laughs> um, So I'll see you guys in a second Hey guys, we're here at Nyx. I can't wait to see you guys inside. I'm going in right now because it's freezing out here <laughs>
home. I ran out of SD card room. That's why I really haven't been vlogging. I have exactly one minute left. But, <sighs> cats. We in there. Here? Yeah. <laughs> so we are on our second flight to Denver. And hopefully we get there soon. And safely. <laughs> It doesn't even do it justice. It does, no, it doesn't. No, you have to see like in person. Your eyes are just so much better. Snap <laughs> this. You can snap. Oh, because our dead, our, phone, yeah, our batteries. Oh. I'm gonna risk it. Don't do it, Charlotte. We cannot get lost in the no, fucking mountain. I'm gonna charge at the place where we're gonna get the thing. I'm gonna charge my phone for five minutes on this bitch. <laughs> we're straight arguing because our battery on all of our phones is about to die, and we still have a two-hour ride. A man, like what's an Ameri- like a beautiful America song? <laughs> oh my god! I am straight freaking out. Camera, I am having a heart attack, okay? Having a heart attack. So cool! called Seventh Heaven. The lady said it kind of is off the beaten path. <laughs> Got a little map and lots of snow. My feet are fucking freezing. We can use our Uggs, honey. That's right. I'm about to put them on us in the beginning. I know we do. <laughs> we'll be coming around when we come. I feel like it's Christmas time. Like I wish Santa was around. Is this a two-way road? Yeah. Oh my God. Charlo. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh my god. This is where we're going. Perfect. Oh my god. We're going down. Oh my god, look at the house. Where do we park? Just right there, I guess. Right there. Good morning. We are getting ready to go take a snowboarding class. <laughs> we're a little nervous. Um, I'll give you guys a full tour of the house at some point. But we just woke up and now we're about to go hit these slopes. Really? Really? Boys. Really? <laughs> Amy, it's funny over here.
not jumping in that. I'm not jumping, okay? Come on. No. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna give you guys a little house tour real quick. So we found this house on Home Away. I just have a onesie on right now. You seen that commercial? It's like, it's your vacation, why share? So we were like, yeah, let's get the whole house. So here you go, you walk in through the door. I guess this is like a little mud room. You know I'm here. Then we come into this room, Charlotte over there. I guess this is just like a little indoor outdoor because you can open these up. So a little seating area. And then outside we have the jacuzzi, some heat lamps, and I guess you can make like a little fire pit right there and a grill. And then you come into here, this is the living area, Charlo. Hello. Table's a little messy, it's okay. So here's the living room, Charlo just closed all the blinds. Yeah, show how they open, how far And then we have a fireplace over here, which Charlo figured out how to work. But the view is just so sick. Like, what? And I guess if you want to spy on people, you could just, you know, spy on them through there. And then the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna go down. Give them a little house tour. This is where all the boys will stay. Great movie. And then in here is like a little movie room. It's like super soundproof. I haven't been in here yet. This is nice. Little movie room. And then a bunch of like bunk beds. And then we have a little seating area right here, it overlooks. And then this is our room. I guess I should have showed you yesterday. Closet. And then our bedroom is not <laughs> made. I cannot breathe. We were just at the snowboarding place and the guy told us that they have 20% less oxygen here than we have in Florida. And I can feel it. Look down. Little fireplace. And then the bathroom's on this side. And then we have a little game room up here. Foosball, pool table. And then we have another one of these like little clear floor things. That would be the front door. Here's Charlo's room. She wanted to stay in this room because she had her own balcony. Right out here into the snow. Beautiful. Going in. Whoa. And then there's two more rooms back here. I think Jimmy's in this room. They got those fans all over the house. And then this is Roger's room. Oh, Roger's a little messy. So Charlo decided to follow Jimmy out. He crashed. So now she's stuck literally in snow. Ah! I just almost fell. Charlo's just stuck out in the snow. She can't, literally can't get out, and the guy gives no shits about helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy hates us. Oh, God. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I cannot get out. Well, I can't come help you, or we'll both be stuck. So everyone's currently behind me, stuck in the snow, and here's your girl, smart. I'm not driving on the powder. I know better. We lost Biebs. I have no idea where he is, but the guy got it out of the snow. Yay, good job. Literally, how many people does it take to get Charlo out of the snow? No, 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 I, I can tell you. Oh. I found Biebs. Papaya. Oh, I thought I was going. He's stuck in the snow. I miss Florida. <laughs> like, I don't think it even does it justice. Okay, so we are snow tubing. It's our second ride up. I'm risking no gloves so I can document the journey. We're on like a magic carpet. Well, I don't know if this is a magic carpet.
my birthday. <laughs> We're gonna go to the top of this hill and are we all going together? Yeah. snowmobiling again today because we had so much fun the other day I just caught air though and almost died so it's a little nerve-wracking so beautiful I got my boo riding with me today riding dirty my ride or die no this toilet bowl is scary scary went on one of these things Wait, there's another one we go to and he like hit the side and went over it so yeah, we're about to go down the toilet bowl. I'm personally terrified. My fingers are crossed, you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> we lost a snowmobiler. It wasn't Charlo this time though. Not me. <laughs> we're like with all boys and they're just like flying past us. You look like a gang. Vroom vroom. I'm only on 1%. It's starting to snow. It's, there's snow flurries falling from the 1%. 1%. Good morning. It is around 12 o'clock. I am. It's our first day back, and it's like my first day. Well, I mean, I still feel sick. If you guys didn't know, I had the flu the week before my birthday, <coughs> and it's still like just lingering on for dear life. And then we just got back from Colorado yesterday. That's where we went for the birthday celebration. Um, we originally were gonna go snowboarding, but a bunch of the dudes that we were with, they all went snowboarding and they just came back with like horror stories. And I was like, I'm, I'm not trying to die on my 30th birthday. So I didn't go snowboarding. We went snowmobiling two of the days that were there and then we went like snow tubing um, the other days, but I just wasn't trying to like, you know, die or anything. So Colorado was so beautiful. Like I've never seen snow like that. I've never played in snow. I've never been in snow. I've never seen snow fall from the sky. So it was a really cool experience. We were in this really cool house. Like, um, <coughs> sorry. If you've seen those like home away commercials, um, it's like, why share your vacation? And I totally agree. Like renting a house is like so amazing. But we had a really good time. I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to because it was hard snowmobiling and it was cold. So you had to wear gloves everywhere and you couldn't do anything with gloves on. So, I mean, that kind of like bummed me out a little bit. I wish I just had like a film crew, you know, to follow me around and vlog my experiences. <laughs> 
but then it's just not like a real vlog you know it's just too highly produced so I'm gonna go pick up some packages because apparently something was trying to be delivered to my house while I was away so gotta go pick that up gotta hit the PO box I need to go to my mom's house because I have tons of packages over there and our first stop though is gonna be Starbucks because I haven't had it in weeks <laughs> I wish this light would turn green because we've been sitting here forever oh, I'm gonna go get a spray tan today too for fresh filming this week because I have to film some videos I tried to film twice before we left but I was still sick and it just was not happening like I'd get so nauseous just staring at the lights and my voice sounded like shit I mean I just can't put out videos like that and I know people get like mad at me or anxious when I'm like go two weeks without filming a video but I was sick and then it was my birthday. It was my birthday. So, and thank you guys for all the love that you showed me on my birthday. There were so many happy birthday comments and tweets and it's crazy. Cause I'm never one to celebrate my birthday. Like I'm not the girl that's like, it's my birthday, you know, like the Astasi Vanderpump rules, but I'm just not that human. Like I don't even want to make a big deal about it. It's just a birthday, everybody has them. So we had a crazy like two hour drive in when we were in Colorado. But it was like the most beautiful scenic thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. We went when we went snowmobiling. Ugh, when we went snowmobiling, we were like 12,000 feet above like sea level, I think. <laughs> and it was so hard to breathe. We had like oxygen tanks because you would just run out of breath so easily. I was like struggling in the night to sleep because I like could not breathe. It was like scaring me. Can I do an ice venti non-fat chai with light ice, please? Okay. I'm so excited for this chai, you guys. <gasps> like, look how white, I'm so pale. I haven't had a spray tan in a hot minute. <laughs> Somebody asked why I drink with my straw so high. I get light ice in it, but I still like it cold. So I just drink from the top of the drink where it's coldest. 